So, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next presentation. Once again, uh, this will also be about the uh, uh, Mindsphere Lounge, or let's put it this way, about one of our partners in the Mindsphere Lounge. Um, and we're going to get right to Microsoft. And uh, Microsoft and Mindsphere have been working together for quite a while now, and some uh, great things that uh, come out of this uh, collaboration. And uh, here to talk about um, uh, robotic process automation, I'd like to welcome Ingo Oppelt and Sebastian Schumann. Welcome to the stage, gentlemen. And it looks like, hey, hello, here. hey there. Looks like you guys <laughs> uh, you. brought a handful of goodies. What's that about over there? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's always Hannover Messe feels like Christmas. Like you're meeting once a year, meeting old friends, and then of course you bring some presents for them. Okay, well, uh, kind of excited to see what that's about. But first of all, start it off, guys. Thank you, Chris. So, hello, Hannover. My name is Ingo Oppelt. I'm the Global Account Executive at Microsoft for Siemens. I'm here now for the third year. I'm very happy always to present new solution from Mindsphere and Azure. And today I have with me Sebastian Schumann from the Siemens Metering Factory in Berlin. And we are going jointly to present a new solution which we have developed, Siemens and Microsoft, tested with Siemens, and now we are ready to bring that to the market to our customers and partners. And so let me maybe just start off with a little bit about the partnership between Siemens and Microsoft. So we partner for more than 20 years when Siemens um, developed their embedded solutions on Windows 95. So it really goes way that long back. And we, since then, we jointly develop products and bring them to the market. And since then, obviously, it has significantly increased from the technology. So nowadays, mainly Azure uh, has been used as a cloud infrastructure for Siemens software platforms like Mindsphere, TeamPlay, and others. And last but not least, we do both have a very vibrant and large ecosystem of partners, of customers, like the Siemens Metering Factory, which take our platforms and develop great solutions out of that. And that's exactly what we want to achieve with Mindsphere and Azure. Um, to provide you the best platform, and in short, we simply call it Microsoft IT expertise and Siemens OT expertise, operation technology expertise together, Siemens better together. So before we go now into this use case, uh, we thought for the fun, we bring some giveaways or merchandising, and uh, we have a short quiz with you. So maybe stay ready and Whoever answers first will get a Microsoft-branded power bank. And you know, nowadays, power banks, especially at the fair, are really important to stay connected with your loved ones. So who knows the names of these two robots? Easy. So, no, no, yeah, und? so no, sorry, I, got one. And there was a lady also <laughs> over here. So Excellent. If I just <laughs> may ask you to again. Do you know the year of that movie? Was that you? Yes. 77, that's absolutely right. So we have got one more over there. Yeah. And it uh, looks like uh, robots have been very popular in movies. Anyone who has, uh, knows this one? Number, f number five, excellent. So we've. Where are over here, these two gentlemen. Oh, okay. And uh, anyone has the idea of which year that was? Uh, this is a maybe a difficult one. 1986. And last one, most famous here in Europe, I guess. We all know the movie. And the actor. Uh, not the actor, but it's a T-1000. Okay, so we got you on this one, I'm glad. So at least one, which was not that easy. Okay, so Sebastian, I'm, we've seen now some cool robots. I'm sure in your factory you have also some of these very smart robots working with you. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, Ingo, and uh, thank you for having me on stage here today. Um, yes, I am from the uh, Berlin Meter Factory. What are we doing? We are manufacturing um, protection relays to make our power grids digital and turn them into smart grids. 
And uh, to manufacture these protection relays, we use a highly automated uh, production line where a lot of robots uh, do their job in assembling these devices. But obviously, we are still continuously looking for further areas where we can improve our processes. And uh, I think now it's time to also uh, leverage the power of robots in our administrative processes. OK, I see. So robots in a way of software, so bots develop helping users. So can you explain a little bit more specifically what robotic process automation then means? Yes, absolutely, Ingo. Um, we have a lot of uh, tasks in uh, our administration um, jobs we have to do, meaning we have uh, users who have to click on interfaces, have to connect um, uh, applications by manually transferring information, by uh, manually uh, going through user interfaces and entering data, clicking on them. And uh, this is now a task uh, which is always uh, often very repetitive. Um, and the value add is actually very limited, but still it has to be done. And we want to relieve our colleagues from doing these jobs uh, by automating these processes. And this is exactly where robot process automation comes into place. We can automate the handling, the management of user interfaces, connecting applications with the help of robot process automation. OK, so I see. So it's nothing new in general, like this process automation. It's happening, but in a different organization, in a different team within the factory. And so, what the, so basically what you have now done is combining MindSphere with robotic process automation. Is this correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, as we have said, we have a lot of robots, really physical robots. You can see a lot of them here on the HMI. Um, but sometimes uh, there's a breakdown, there's a failure on these robots. And this uh, is now being captured by Siemens MindSphere. So the robot automatically sends a uh, disturbance or a breakdown to MindSphere. But then to create out of that disturbance a ticket for our maintenance team to quickly and easily resolve this issue, this is where robot process automation comes into picture. Because robot process automation takes this information and now enters it into our ERP system so that the uh, maintenance team gets a notification message which contains all the information needed to resolve this issue quickly. Which robot is it? What exactly happened? And this is done really fast and quickly with robot process automation now. OK, so using MindSphere for turning data into value, data from the shop floor, and then using the RPA bot in order to automate the, the SAP backend in this case, in your case. Absolutely. And so it's team play of Siemens, MindSphere, and Microsoft Azure, and Blue Prism all together, all putting best parts together to help us improve that. OK. Improve that. So I'm sure we have here a couple of people who are actually from the factory, so they know exactly what you're, you know, what you're talking about. And therefore, maybe just a little bit one more time, one lens deeper on the use case. So the person who is at the, at the shop floor, what ha if, if the robot stops, what does he have to do today? And what with your solution doesn't have to do anymore? Yeah, absolutely. So today, um, or let's say in the time uh, in the past, uh, some breakdown happened on the shop floor. So the person had to go look, see what is happening, why did the machine break down, uh, had to collect that information, had to go to a terminal, lock himself in, open a screen, uh, type in the information what happened, which would then trigger a ticket for our maintenance team to resolve the issue. Nowadays, the robot itself starts sending a message to MindSphere. I have a problem. I, I broke down. I can't continue working. And this information now is being automatically picked up by robot process automation, which then automatically generates that message for our maintenance team. And so there is really no risk that information gets lost, that there is any time delay in transmissioning uh, that information to the maintenance team. And our maintenance team can react immediately and has all the information, what was the current state of the machine when it broke down, available. Do I need some parts uh, to take with me to resolve the issue? So that is all covered in that um, information they receive. And they can really resolve the breakdown very fast and quick. And so uh, we reduce our downtime, if there is any. Excellent. And the solution is based on MindSphere, on RPA, on Azure. But it has been implemented by a cross-functional team. And I just see Andrea also standing over here uh, from the global robotics process automation team within Siemens, um, literally just coming from the train. 
So there has been a great also team effort between Siemens and customer, Siemens partner and Microsoft. And this is just one of our four showcases we have in the Mindsfield Lounge upstairs in the Microsoft partner area. So thank you very much. I hope you, you will stay with us for today. Absolutely. So if you have more questions, please come up there. You might also get a power bank if, you're, if you need one. And besides that, I just want to highlight we have two more partner solutions um, at the booth. So one is about connected ports with a partner Accenture. So I'm not sure how many people are here know about the operation of a port. Um, but it's very interesting. Uh, you can um, learn from that. Plus, I'm very sure you can relate to your own kind of operation. You want to maybe um, adapt these solutions. And the second is, even though we are, everyone is talking about cloud, there are certain industries and markets where you still require an on-premise solution. And Siemens Mindsphere has a solution for that, which is called Mindsphere On-Premise. So that's what we are presenting also jointly with, with our partner, Atos. And last but not least, our commitment to the Mindsphere ecosystem is always bringing in some new cool IT stuff. So we have just released a new sensor. It's called Azure Connect. And some of you might be familiar with the Connect. It used to be the sensor for our gaming platform for controls and controlling computer games. It's now industrialized and it can be used to automate and digitize your process, for example, in the shop floor. So please come and see us upstairs, see Sebastian, see Andrea, and have a discussion with us. Thank you very much. Big round of applause. Thank you very much, Sebastian Thank and you. also Ingo. Once again, you guys have a great day. And Thank if you, you want to know more about our partner, Microsoft, please visit them up in the Mindsphere Lounge. Siemens, ingenuity for life.